Okay, so in this problem we're dealing with fabric and measurements and, and purchases and we're going to look at square yards and square feet. So in A, we're told that fabric is $2 per square yard and we want to know if you bought $3 million of fabric, how many square yards could you buy? Write your answer in scientific notation. Okay, so again, $3 million is the amount you're spending, right? $3 million. So that means we have six zeros. If we're looking at this in scientific notation, we have what? We have three times 10 to the sixth, right? And this is and this is dollars that we're looking at. So we, we are looking at fabric that costs $2 per square yard. We want to know how many times or how much, how much can we buy? In other words, every $2 you have, you can buy another square yard. So if we have three times 10 to the sixth dollars, if we divide that by two dollars, this will tell us how many total square yards we have, right? Because if you had four dollars, imagine four dollars divided by two dollars, that means you could buy what? We could buy two square yards. It's four divided by two. Same logic here, dollars divide out. And then we have three times ten to the six divided by divided by two. So if you are struggling with this problem, what you might want to do is rewrite it a little bit. We get 3 times 10 to the 6th over what? Well, 2 times 10 to the 0. 10 to the 0 is just 1, so it's 2 times 1 is 2. This allows me to look at the laws of exponents. We have 10 to the 6th over 10 to the 0. That's just 10 to the 6th. And 3 divided by 2 is what? Well, 2 goes into 3 once, and there's a half left over, so it's 1.5. This means we can buy 1.5 million yards, or square yards, excuse me, of fabric, and that makes sense. You know, uh, if you imagine uh, one and a half million doubled, you get three million, the total amount of dollars you have to begin with. So that works out nicely. And B, we want to know how many square feet could you buy for three million dollars. Well, we already know we can buy this many square yards, so if we just convert it to square feet, we'll know the answer. And part of what's happening here is um, the difference between a yard and a foot and a square yard and a square foot. Um, one yard, a reference, oops, wrong tool. One yard is a reference you should know, and, then, and one yard equals three feet. This might come in handy for you. So one square yard, however, does not equal three square feet. It equals nine square feet. And part of the reason uh, this happens, if you look at the area of a square, Right, and we say that this is a square yard. What does that mean? Well, a square yard is just a square where each side is one yard. So this is one yard, and this is one yard all the way around. But every yard is three feet. So a square yard is a square where every side is three feet. So what's the area of a square yard? Well, in feet, it is three feet times three feet. So it's three times three feet squared, right? Feet times feet is feet squared, just like x times x is x squared. So this is going to be 9 feet squared. You can imagine here if we had, if this is a yard and this is one square foot, you can see it, let me just pick a different color there. Right, so imagine right here this is a square foot. Well we know that it takes three square feet, or three feet, excuse me, to equal a yard. So if we take three square feet, it's not nearly enough to fill up the total amount we need. Now my estimation here is kind of poor. These squares should in fact be smaller. But if I turn it to scale, nine of these square feet would fit in one square yard. You can see it happening. So what does all this mean? Well, every square yard we have, we have nine square feet. So if we have this many square yards, if we take that number and multiply it by nine, we get the total number of square feet. So I'm going to set that up. Oops, again, wrong tool. So we have 1.5 times 10 to the 6th square yards. All right? I want to leave my unit out, sorry. I don't want that. Times 9, this is going to be the amount of feet squared we're dealing with. So 9 times 1.5, that's 9 times 1 is 9. A half times 9 is 4.5, that's 13.5 times 10 to the 6th. Converting this to scientific notation, this is square feet. We want to divide 13.5 by 10 to get 1.35, right? We need a number between 1 and 10. 
and we balance that out by multiplying by 10, so we get 10 to the 6th becomes 10 to the 7th. So this is how many square feet we could buy for the $3 million we're spending. Now part C is a question that asks, which unit of measurement would you prefer and why? Well, since we're buying so much, right, I would use square yards, right? This is just easier to work with because essentially it's a nice smaller number. The square feet, however, might also be useful if you're looking at a, um, if you need to know something about the square footage of the fabric you're buying. Perhaps the item you're making uh, requires exactly one or two square, two square feet to make. So you'd want the measurement in square feet. So if you're given room to justify your answer, you can talk about both. The yards are useful when you need square yards. Perhaps an item is using exactly one square yard. So this number would be incredibly useful to you. You know that you can make 1.5 times 10 to the 6 products. right? But, but if you need to know in square feet, if your item requires an exact amount of square footage, why would you look at it in yards? You would look at the square footage. Also, typically, if you're taking a standardized test for some reason, when you have a large amount of something, uh, you want to pick a unit that deals with that large amount um, with in a more precise way. In other words, you want to pick a unit that's larger. So if you're buying a very, very large quantity of something, or you're measuring a very large, large quantity, you want a unit that is the, the larger of the choices. And that, in this case, you would probably say square yards. But again, that's a whole other discussion. And as you see more test examples um, or whatever state test or standardized test you're taking, I think you'll see what I mean. All right, thanks a lot.